we've got some good news for Mavenir from Deutsche Telekom. And, uh, you know, this was interesting because when Deutsche joined the UK's BT to remove Huawei and work toward a Chinese free core network, network infrastructure in early 2020, it meant opportunity for other players in the space. After what seems like a really long wait, Mavenir got some good news. Ron, tell us about it. Yes, I think this is definitely the type of win that Mavenir has been searching for yeah. for a while. <laughs> and uh, they have been a open RAN stalwart. Yeah. And so this win, particularly uh, in the heart of Europe, i.e. Uh, DT is the largest operator in the continent, that uh, this is a way for them to show that they can diversify their revenue streams, uh, that their portfolio can address really the full spectrum of uh, 5G requirements, uh, especially as uh, DT and other major operators put uh, more investment into 5G standalone capabilities. And so the 5G core capabilities are going to be very instrumental in that regard. Uh, that is uh, supporting uh, capabilities such as network slicing, as well as uh, enabling uh, Deutsche Telekom and other operators to monetize uh, their 5G networks uh, more efficiently and more flexibly. That's not to deny there are challenges. Uh, for example, right. the win of this uh, cutover uh, is still uh, not uh, completely clear. Also, Ericsson has uh, a role in this particular transition. So that's pretty standard, uh, the fact that they're right. using more than one operator to replace Huawei in the core, more than one supplier. Right. And uh, they will continue to have to interoperate with uh, the vast array of Huawei RAN equipment that's out there. And uh, DT has not announced yet when they will plan on replacing that uh, part of their network. And in the meantime, you know, the progress is, is steady. Uh, for example, in the BT network, Ericsson is supporting the 5G core transition there. And uh, so far, uh, BT has uh, maybe a, a million uh, 5G standalone uh, type customers. Right. So this is a, definitely a work in progress. Uh, but the upshot is it's a feather than a cap from Avenir winning the 5G core deal uh, with Deutsche Telekom. This is good news for them no matter what. And it does demonstrate that uh, the European market is getting its act together more in terms of pushing vi uh, 5G out to a broader audience. Right, yeah, I thought that was really great news for Mavenir. So it'll be interesting to watch how this plays out as always. Right, right on.